Hey, what's going on, Burgos? Butch Show here. Gonna do your two-week read. It is a general read, so it will not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross-watchers, the roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. And I'm rocking the, the hermit shirt. <laughs> Just for you. We're gonna be using uh, the Santa Morte deck which is one of my favorites. That being said, let's get it. Universe, what do we have for the Virgos? So the first thing we have, Virgos, I feel like this is someone, this is someone from your past, but this is someone, I feel like you had an incredible connection with, you know, I, I feel like it's one of those timeless connections, but I feel like there was, I feel like there was some toxic energy in the past. I feel like the more you gave to this person, the more you started to realize that, you know, you couldn't do it for them. They had to do it for themselves. You know, you gave and gave and gave, but it was an, an uphill battle that would continue to go uphill. The more you gave, the more was expected. You know, I, and I and I do feel like there was Part of that toxic energy that I'm feeling is, is is some sort of an addiction, you know, and we have the devil card, that burden, um, you know, something had a hold on this person. Now, I feel like there's a part of you that feels like you gave up too early, but there's also a part of you that felt like you couldn't give anymore. Now, when I say addiction, it's not always, when people say addictions, I mean, people think of drug addictions, you know, alcohol addictions. I mean, there's so many different types of addictions. You know, negative thoughts can be an addiction. You know, those people that all, every, every time even good things comes around, they still think about the negative. I mean, that can be addictive. But with this person, like I said, it was a toxic energy. And I feel like the more you gave, the more you felt like you had to give more. And it almost felt like you were giving too much of yourself. And I feel like it came to an end. You know, I feel like there was that tower moment. But even though we had that tower moment, I feel like there's a part... I mean, this is so Virgo. I mean, I feel like... Like I said, there's that internal struggle within you that you feel like you gave up too early or you didn't do enough, you know. But sometimes what we do and what we can do isn't enough. And I feel like you spent a lot of time in your head about this with that hermit. I'm covering it with my fingers. I apologize. You know, in your head too much. You're in your head too much right now about it. I mean, I feel like you still think about this person even though it's been some time. You're still thinking about this person. Almost like the one you couldn't save. This person needed to do it for themselves. You know, sometimes we can, we find ourselves giving so much of ourselves to someone else that we lose focus. You know, we lose where we're going.
I, I just feel like this person, it wasn't on you. And you can't hold yourself responsible for what is not, you know, it's not in your wheelhouse to fix this because it's not something that you can fix. They needed to fix this on, the, on their own. And I feel like they needed to hit rock bottom. Now I feel like that was, that's the turning point for this person. And I feel like that's exactly what happened with this person. You know, we have to stop nurturing. You know, sometimes we can't always be the person enough for that person to fix themselves. Sometimes they have to find it in themselves to do it and to put in the work. And if they don't see their own value, we can't make them see it. Now, what I do see coming in for you is I feel like this person that you've been waiting for, this person that you still think about, I feel like they are coming back. I feel a lot of balance in this person. I feel like I feel like there's some new energy with that, you know, that page of pentacles. I feel like they're making a lot of forward progress. You know, I feel like they've really they hit rock bottom and they're on the rebound. They're coming back up. You know, they're, they're feeling better about themselves. You know, I, I do feel like even though they do feel better, they don't feel complete because they're missing something. And this is something emotionally they never walked away from you. You know, I feel like they always held on to you and what you, what, you, what you meant to them is more than you may ever really ever know. You know, we have a lot of emotional fulfillment. I feel like you were a, a big part of the reason why they're coming back. You're a big reason why they, they found, you know, that, that second win, we'll call it. I feel like they needed to hit rock bottom. And in order to hit rock bottom, they needed to, you know, they couldn't have you and, and find rock bottom. They couldn't. But like I said, I do see this person coming back. I do see them wanting, you know, they want you back. And I feel like they're finally ready for something, you know, so much more than before. I feel like they, they're coming back complete. They're coming back feeling balanced. Like I said, with that temperance card, they're coming back. I, I really do feel like they finally got their shit together. And I feel like if you would have continued, I feel like they would never have gotten to this point this quickly. You know, I see a strong foundation being built here. With that four of wands. We have victory with that six of wands. You know, we also have the wheel of fortune. So I see a lot of good things coming, you know, and, and it starts with that stability. I, I do see some new stability. I feel like this person, like I said, they find, they finally found their groove. They finally found, you know, their way out and they're rising up almost like, uh, you know, not to sound completely crazy, but you know, it's like that Phoenix, you know, they uh, rising from the ashes. That's what, that's what this person is. I feel like they hit that point of no return. But they return from it. You know, this person's coming back stronger than ever. A lot of people think with people with, you know, issues and, and addiction and stuff like that, that it's almost like they're they're gone. They're not. You know, sometimes the strongest of people were once addicts or were once, you know, living in that that marshy part of life. Um, they realized, I, sometimes I feel like when you live in the darkest, darkest areas and you, and you, and you, and you've lived in the darkness, you can appreciate the light more, if that makes sense. And that's what this person is. You know, they've come back from far beyond, you know, and, and they're coming back stronger for it. They know you know, where they've been. 
and they don't want to go back there. They finally let go of that, you know, that monkey on their back. And, and, and I feel like they're coming back so much stronger for it. And they haven't forgotten you. I feel like part, you are part of the reason why they do, why they are coming back and why they do want to be with you is the fact that, you know, they felt that emotional fulfillment. They felt true love from you. They couldn't give it to you then. Like I said, they were living in a toxic area and they couldn't give it back to you then, but I feel like they can now. Now with this person, we have a lot of Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Um, we have a lot of Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Aquarius. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. You know, there's so much for movement here. We got that Cancer energy, the Chariot. There's so much for movement here. Like, that's what a lot of people don't get. And that's what I really feel like with Virgos is I feel like Virgos see things in people that most people miss. You know, that's what I love about Virgos. I feel like, I feel like they do have, you know, you do get, you guys have a hard time letting people go because, you know, you take so much on yourself and, and you don't ask for anything back, but they're coming back. Like I said, they're coming back. They, they're they a lot, they have a lot of balance. You know, they have a lot of good things going for themselves. And they're bringing that to you because they, you know, they want to show you that appreciation. They want to show you what you mean to them. And what you gave them wasn't for nothing. You know, sometimes we invest so much of our time and sometimes it's it's hard to let it go. Uh, partially because we feel like we failed them, but we sometimes it feels like we, we we invested so much it's hard to let that go. But, you know, sometimes we just need to let it go. We need to let people, you know, do what they need to do on their own. We can't be everything all the time for everybody. But like I said, a lot of this person's uh, forward movement has been attributed to how you made them feel. And having someone in their corner meant more to them than you will ever really know. Now that's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.